So here's what we got going on, fam. King Ranch. Issues. No bueno. Not good. So what happened with this truck was approximately uh, almost two weeks ago, we had a really, really cold snap here. And with the wind chill, it was below 45, negative 45 um, Fahrenheit, of course. And it was just blistering cold. And this truck kept shutting off, going down in low power mode, all kinds of stuff. And then it just completely died. And turns out the fuel was completely gelled up in the fuel filters, I believe, and some of the fuel lines. So we dropped it off. They swapped out all that stuff, said you're good to go. Um, long story short, it's still having symptoms and side effects from that day, and it keeps happening over and over again. So, looks like um, this truck's going to have to get dropped off at a shop that I've gone through, because with these trucks, with these fuel systems, and how involved they really are, it's not like a 12 valve or 24 valve, um, it's a lot more than we know how to deal with, and it's going to have to go to the shop. I mean, there's just a lot that they have to take apart and tear down to really get to everything that has to be done. Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Hopefully you guys are doing awesome. And guys, also, this is probably going to be, I thought I said this in yesterday's video that this is gonna be the first day of the giveaway, but this is actually, I believe today, is the first day for the Duramax giveaway, the 2008 LMM Duramax giveaway, so do not miss out. Enter that thing, you guys saw how excited michael was he was just smiling he was just like speechless he didn't even know what to say he's just like dude this is just this is just amazing so um you guys could be next you could be next just like he said he was like i was motivated every paycheck and i was entering that thing and he's like and i was like yeah, yeah i mean i'm gonna enter i mean you just never know, you never know but you're definitely not gonna win if you don't enter he's like and so i just went for it and what do you know he won a freaking truck so just keep that in mind guys huge opportunity it's a freaking sweet truck and i was just telling my fiance reagan i've never really been like oh my gosh i'd love to buy a duramax someday you know after this past like week and a half of driving this truck daily we've taken it on long trips to we went we've driven back and forth to india a few times driven all around town we've taken on a four hour trip to central ohio from indy we've gone to you know back from ohio driven all around i mean the truck is just it just rides nice lots of power it's fuel efficient and it's just a lot of freaking fun to drive and it handles really nicely especially on the setup that it's on right now which is the street tires um it's just a freaking blast and i told her that going from a bunch of you know like this you know like coming stuff to the duramax it's a completely different driving experience, but it is just a freaking blast. Like, I'm like, it is honestly one of my favorite trucks to drive. I'm not saying it would be my number one pick ever. I've owned a lot of trucks already, but in terms of drivability, it, it would be really hard to top. It, it just drives so, so nice. I love it. We're gonna get to getting a King Ranch over to the neighbors. We've got a nasty red over there, which you haven't seen in a minute, and the gooseneck, and we're gonna be hooking that thing up and getting the King Ranch taken up to the shop. Let me, let me show you the interior on the truck really quick. No rips, mind you, no rips, okay? WeatherTech floor mats are a little bit, oops, that's smooth. Um, WeatherTech floor mats are a little bit dirty, but underneath is like factory. No dirt anywhere on the actual factory carpet. So we're gonna get this truck started up here, let it run for a little bit. And guys, another big surprise. The gauges don't come on. I don't think it would have touched the gauges. What was I saying? Oh, about the cash flow. The cash flow hat, um, I actually bought this as a souvenir at a business conference, a 10X growth conference with uh, Grant Cardone and Cardone Capital. Cardone Capital is actually a real estate business and that's what the cash flow thing is. Cash flow is just a term for um, return on investment when investing in real estate and stuff. That's what, that's what the cash flow hat stands for. Um, but anyway, so, that's another business we're gonna be getting into fairly soon here, actually probably for the next few months is a you know, multifamily unit real estate. But also, that being aside, Reagan, what do we have happening today? We're gonna to go get keys to our house. So we, no we're not moving in together. See, that's another thing that I'm, I'm gonna let you guys know, not that it's really any of your guys' business, but no, we're not moving in together. But we are gonna be getting married this summer, so in the meantime, we're gonna be probably just like painting some walls, moving some stuff over, uh, fixing up the shop, shop the ready. way- Shop! That's what I was getting at. Shop! Fixing up the shop the way we want it. We have a shop there. It's not huge, but it is probably big enough to fit about three of your 
average size heavy duty pickup trucks in. So it's it it, it, well. it works out <laughs> awesome, and we could probably fit the Longhorn in it. I'm yeah. I'm being honest, we might be able to fit the Longhorn too, and that's pretty cool because that's probably about the biggest of a truck that I'm going to want to park in there anyways. Um, the OBS was awesome. It was a huge truck. It was it's it's like a show truck, but. I probably don't think I'm gonna do too many builds like that for uh, giveaways or even for like a daily driver for myself. It's just a lot of truck, um, and it, it really is like awesome. But unless you have like the deploying steps and all that kind of crazy stuff, it's just not like an ideal truck to just jump in and out of all the time. It's just it's like a showpiece. It really is just like a showpiece. New house, new shop. <laughs> So on our way over to the neighbor's house real quick, before all the Ford jokes start to rain in here. Uh, Ford jokes, I don't understand. Yeah, Ford jokes, you know, you know how that goes. What's going on right now with the truck? So when we had that uh, polar vortex, what, two weeks ago? Two and a half weeks ago, something like that. Whatever they want to call it. King Ranch, for the first time ever, had its fuel system gel up. So I stopped by a local truck place. They put new fuel filters in. It seemed to be working okay initially. Uh, had a little bit of a high squeal, um, but I just assumed it was because of the cold weather. But then after that would not stop, I went ahead and checked on um, the forums to see if there's any news. And some people said that it could be one extreme or the other. And so what we did was I put new fuel filters in. I pulled the new ones they put in because I wasn't sure. And some people said they had uh, problems with aftermarket fuel filters and not knowing what they put into the truck. I went ahead and just pulled them just to see if it uh, work and put Ford ones back in. And it's still having the same problem where it gives me the code of reduced engine power. And so what I'm going to do, and yesterday as I was driving home from my office, I um, had the notification again that it dropped me down to 20 miles an hour and I just lost power. So we're going to be taking it up to um, a shop and having them look it over so we don't end up with bigger problems down the road. Yep. Hopefully it's something simple. Yeah, hopefully it's something simple, but I told him that it could be something a lot more yeah. complex. I the said, forms. and the thing is, I'm like, it's not like, because you're going to have some guys, why don't you fix it yourself? I'm like, it's not a P-pump. Right. You know what I mean? It's not a matter of like a couple scrolls, a couple nuts and bolts. Like it's, it's a little more involved with a truck like this. Yeah, and what I don't want to happen after talking to... Especially if you don't know what's actually wrong. Is they said sometimes... If it's sucking air and whatever else, the if you look at the filters and there's um, little brass shavings, you could you know screw up your whole fuel system. So we're just for safe keepings, we're going to trail it up there, have them take a look at it, and that way we're not screwing it up and end up costing you know tens of thousands of well not maybe not tens of thousands of dollars, but uh, more money than what we but, should be. But yeah, <laughs> but a lot. Also in this video, you also get to see Nasty Red Toe for the first time. Also, we did get a plow mount put on this truck. Because uh, as you guys know, we had to say uh, RIP to old Whitey, the 7.3 plow truck. So as you guys know, this truck has the uh, compound turbos and all that fun stuff in it. I think pulls like an animal. In terms of going down the road, I'm saying like it pulls its weight like crazy. It's, it's fast. Hold with the nasty. Have you slowed so far? Now remember, everybody, this has a built transmission with a lot of billet parts in it for maximum overdrive. They hooked us up with a good deal on that. We got compound turbos. We're running a stock HX35 over an S475 Borg Warner. We've got 120 horse injectors, 4K governor springs, we have 60 pound valve springs. Crappy stock steering. 
crappy stock steering because you know you you definitely want all of this horsepower and not the ability to control it going down the road. Got to make sure trailer brakes yeah. work. <laughs> that was a good time to check that, that out, all right? Yeah. Oh, they work cool, cool, cool. Awesome. At least it has a new front end on it, though. I got new front end parts, new front end, new brakes. I got all that stuff done too. Oh yeah. Observation we just made is that as we're dropping off our Ford, um, we're not the only Ford people out there that have issues with their truck. <laughs> Maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know. Like it was like pedal to the floorboard. It just wouldn't, we just didn't have enough stopping time. It's just like the light changed too quick and yeah, just couldn't do anything about it. And sometimes, like I was so rigged, and sometimes like when I'm in the long horde, those big wheels and tires, I'm like, sometimes when you get so close to an intersection, it just starts to change. You're almost better to just keep your momentum. If you can see both ways, you're good still, than to try to slam and end up right in the middle of it. You know what I mean? Great. But with the King Ranch, we'll hear more about that soon enough. And we'll try to update you guys on what actually is happening with that truck. Next video, hopefully you guys can see the new little shop space um, that we're gonna have. And not sure when we're gonna actually start to do stuff in there. I'll, I'll leave that for another video. I'll leave that for another video, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not done so yet, 
enter the Duramax giveaway. Enter the giveaway for the 2008 LMM Duramax. It is live February 22nd until March 26th. Every $15 gets you another entry to win. It's gonna be awesome. Somebody's gonna be getting that truck and it is, it's a freaking blast. I told my dad, I said, if you drove that truck, you'd wanna sell your King Ranch. I'm like, it rides really nice. You would want something different. Then again, I love the Longhorn too. And it's freaking cool. When are you gonna put me behind the wheel of that Duramax? I don't know, but we're probably gonna have to do a video on it. It'll, it'll be pretty it. cool. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to enter that giveaway. It is awesome. It's a dream truck, and you, one of you guys could be taking that thing home. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Information down in the description below. Leave a fat thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. Join the team. Join the family. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.